Hi there. Uh, so I have some normal type of books that I look for at the library and I'm usually in the teen section looking at those books because they tend to have a lot of imagination and a lot of romance and adventure type stuff going on. That's the type of stuff I like. So um, I found this book and I wanted some variety. So I, I picked out this book to get something a little different. Uh, the Last Unicorn by Peter S. Beagle. So when I picked it up, I thought, oh, this looks like, you know, a newer type author. And I was reading the reviews for it. The reviews looked good on the inside. They had reviews and I was like, okay, everybody's re really recommending it. So I'll try it. Um, I read the inside and I read like when it was originally published and let's see. Okay. Copyright Peter S. Beagle. 1968 all rights reserved and then like this was the 40th anniversary edition printing 2008 so i was like whoa 1968 this guy's an older author that's kind of cool that he was in the teen section because a lot of times they like you know get rid of those books but um he must have like something good when i when i started to look into the book and read the beginning um so reading this book um it was a good book. Uh, something that was particularly unique about this book, it's a, a little background for the book. It's about a unicorn that, you know, she thinks he, she, it's a unicorn. I think it's like a girl. Um, she, she eventually turns into a girl, FYI. Um, so this book is about this last unicorn and she's, going out to look in the world to see if she can find other unicorns um, because she hasn't seen any unicorns for a long time and there's some people that come through the woods and they're like you know no their unicorns don't exist anymore and stuff we haven't seen any in a long time so she goes on this adventure to see am I the last unicorn are there other ones out there or you know am I really the last one because she's kind of has these feelings like, you know, she doesn't want to be the last one. She wants to know other people, other unicorns, you know, and probably just like have that security that, yeah, there's other ones of me out there, you know. Um, so she's an intelligent, magical, beautiful creature um, going out and having this journey. And it's really interesting. She meets interesting people along the way. She gets in predicaments that, you know, are a little dangerous and she has to get out of them. She meets a couple of friends, even though unicorns don't really take on like friends that well. So eventually she ends up at this castle and some stuff happens where she ends up turning into a human and having um, like a relationship with a, a man. So um, it's not like really, you know, uh, romantic touchy touchy relationship it's it's a romantic like more mental um, and being there for each other relationship um, so it's a it's a good book what I and what I wanted to say after I gave you all the background was that some really interesting stuff about this book is that it kind of like makes fun of itself in the book like some of the stuff that happens in the book, the people talk about like they're in a book and um, like it is a fairy tale. And they kind of make fun of some of the aspects of books and fairy tales and villains and magic and whimsical stuff like that. So the fact that there is some irony in the book when it comes to pieces of literature and things that normally happen in books. Um, it made it a little childlike in some of the jokes that are uh, kind of like lightly put throughout the book. Um, and some of the characters are pretty me memorable too that the unicorn meets along the way. So I really liked it. Um, I enjoyed it quite a bit and I would definitely recommend it. Uh, if for anything else, 
It's, it's a very quick, lighthearted read, and it connects you with some aspects of childlike things or childhood or just like magical stories and stuff from when you might have been a kid. And um, yeah, I really liked it. So um, it was nice. The author was good. Uh, he probably thought a lot about the book when he was writing it. But at the same time, it came across as a book you could read without having to think too much, um, unless you want to, um, into the details. So yeah, I really liked it. Pick it up if you want to at your library or uh, try to order it online if you're interested. Thank you.